Hi, welcome. It's a special edition. We've been in San Francisco for a couple weeks and I'm so excited to do this um, appetizer and cocktail pairing because it's very special to me because it's my great friends and they're really bringing a lot to the table per se. Um, my great friend David's from England and this Indian dish is super interesting and unique and he's going to kind of walk you through why I'm saying this and raving about this because this is really great. Hi guys, welcome to San Francisco. I'm going to talk to you about this this Indian dish. It's actually my favorite Indian dish. Um, it's hard to find here in the States, at least in California, from my experience so far. Um, but this is, um, it's, it's the name is Jalfrezi. Um, it's of Pakistani and Bangladeshi origin. And you'll find this all over England in the Indian restaurants. It's kind of a hot dish, it's a spicy dish. Um, now, I, always, I like this so much that I wanted to be able to cook it myself because I couldn't find it out here in the restaurants. So I, I, I asked a friend, uh, actually in college, and she gave me the, gave me the, um, the real recipe. Uh, so let me go through that. I always keep this handy. This is the original that she gave me. Uh, and the, the important thing with this recipe is, is the sequence of ingredients. Not necessarily the ingredients, obviously that's important. But it's the sequence. So here's what goes in. First, first of all, is the ginger and garlic. Following the ginger and garlic is onions, and then the chicken, and then we add salt, red chili powder, turmeric, and obviously the most one of the most important things in Indian dishes is the chili, the chili peppers. Now in this one for four people, I used three jalapeno peppers and also three serrano peppers. So it's kind of kind of spicy. Um, but the, the actual cocktail that, that Brit's going to tell you about actually balanced that out so it helped calm down that heat. So over to Brit. Okay, cocktail. thank you so much for sharing this. This was so exciting. I kept hearing about this dish. He made it. It's, it's one of the greatest Indian dishes I've ever had. So definitely I'm going to have the list and the recipe on the blog so you can follow it proper and you got to try this. It's great. And it is a, got a little kick as you'd expect with Indian food. So that's why I'm so excited that we came up with this mango sassy cocktail. Usually in Indian restaurants you think of a mango lassi which is a mango fruit juice and a yogurt base which is very cooling. So we kind of kicked it up a notch and we went for um, a different twist and my great friend Emery is going to talk about what we ended up doing to create this great balance called the Mango Sassy. So Em, go ahead and Thanks take for it. <laughs> yes, so um, in order to achieve um, the mango flavor, after much experimentation, Britt came up with a really excellent recipe that's quite easy but it nails the flavor. So as the mango base, um, we used a, a mango flavored vodka. And then to achieve the creaminess, there's this excellent uh, cream liqueur that Britt found. And then adding to that is the rose water. And then some coconut water. And then to finish it off, um, there is some lime zest in the cocktail. And then garnished with uh, some fresh mango. And it's amazing and it really balances out the heat from the curry. Okay, great. So to get this started, I since there's a group of us, I went ahead and made a picture ahead of time, which you definitely can do if you're having people over. And it's quite simple. It was two parts, which could be two cups of the mango vodka, one cup of the cream, a half cup of the rose water, and one cup of the coconut water and that was mixed together in the pitcher and then when your guests arrive and everything's ready to rock you go ahead and just give your pitcher a swirl fill your shaker full of ice pour it out and put the lid on it so that's that's one of my favorite things when I have people over you can make the pitchers ahead of time you can go ahead and make a lot of martinis at once so here we have these beautiful glasses that I've seen in Austin and also I found here and I was so excited because they're from the early 60s and they're truly uh, real gold plated. So if you see these in an antique store or Goodwill, definitely pick these up. They're truly special and unique and they look beautiful for something like this. Here you go, Em. Thank you. Here you go, David. Thank you very much. All right.
right, and in this too, I've garnished it with a fresh slice of mango to kind of tie in the mango sassy, and I think we're ready to rock, guys. All right. All right. Till next time, see you in Austin. Thanks for stopping by in San Francisco.